Namaste and welcome to day 17 of 30 days of Apri. In the last episode, we created the collection with proper rules that we require for our application using server side scripts with Dart. And we use Apri's Dart Apri SDK. In today's session, we will use that collection to store our users data. Our application is quite simple. We are just recording the daily water intake of our users. And if you look at the screen, the goal for every day is 2500 ml. Right now user has consumed zero. Now if I tap any of this button, the consumption will increase and the goal will fill up. However, right now we are only storing data in the widgets state. So if we see here, we have a list of water intake intakes. Whenever I press the add button, I'm just increasing the today's intake amount. I'm not saving anything. And if I go to history, it's just loading. It's empty. We will use our collection to store this data. Right now, the problem is if I hot restore or if I exit and reopen the app, everything is gone. But we want our users data to be stored and synced in their device. So let us begin first order of business let us save the water intake so whenever user taps this button we should save this data and for that we already have a collection we have also added our collection id in the app constants using that we will create a new document in this collection to store the users data first service api service let's create a function called add water intake so future water intake add intake okay and this will take few parameters water intake intake and then required list string read read permission string right permission for the document as we saw in previous episodes each and every document collection have their own permissions if you do not provide proper permission you will not be able to add or read the data so here let's make this a sync await we already have created or initialized our DB service. So if we see here, we have our DB service, which is already initialized. So we can use it DB dot create document. So in order to add a document to the collection, we use create document function. And here we need first thing is collection ID, which is in our app constant. app constants dot entries collection. So this is our collection ID and our data will be the intake dot to map and read permission will be read, write permission will be write that will pass from our function. Finally, we'll return water intake from map press dot data will handle the error in the form itself in the home page itself so let's go to our home and let us implement the save so whenever we tap water intake we are calling this function so if we see here we are calling this function with the amount of water so we need to save the data in the server in this function. So let's proceed. Let's create our data. Water intake amount will be amount date will be date time dot now user ID will be ID and then ID will be empty and this for this user ID, 
we need to pass the user in the home page that we can easily do from our main screen. So in the main dot dot here we have a main screen where we are getting the user and when there is a user we can simply pass this to snapshot.data so snapshot.data is a future user so in home page we can create an attribute user let's create constructor make this required required so all the errors should be gone i can make this here future builder user import okay so this can be null if snapshot dot has data so this should not be null so i can overwrite this now i have the user here and so i can use this user id here once we create our data we can call the add intake function from api service so let's try await service instance add intake so intake will be data read permission we want only this user to be able to read so we'll provide the permission as user colon user id so there should not be any space in between so user colon user id is widget dot user dot id and same for the write permission we want user colon dollar id so whenever you have a group of users teams or roles you can provide the permissions in similar way you can add multiple permissions so this user has the read access as well as maybe another team has the read access then we can add multiple permissions in this array so that multiple groups of people or multiple people have access to this particular data we can catch error on upright exception catch e print message so we can handle error we are not using this right now so we can just skip this assignment for now now if we tap this button we should be able to create new document in our collection which should be visible from the upright console let me save or oh, there is some error so in login dot dart in login dot dart when we are calling home page we are not passing the user so api service dot instance dot login here we are not going to home page rather we should go to main screen and main screen should handle the user loading so now i i can hot restart so just to be sure i'm hot restarting and now if i tap on this button it should create a new document so let us see the upright console so if we go to database and our entries collection we have a new document amount is 100 and date so our new document is added however even then if we hot restart our data is gone this is because we are not loading any data from the database right now we just added the data to the database so let us load data from the database in the home let's create a function that will get the index data and let us call this here this should get the index from the api service equals instance dot get index okay let's create this function in the api service so let's go down and let's create here future list water intake water index 
let's make this a sync let's get the data from the collection again it is quite simple oh, wait we'll again use the db service this time we'll call list documents okay and we pass in the collection id for us the collection id again is in app constant dot entries collection with simply this we can get all the documents of the entries collection limited to 20 25 the default limit is 25 so this is fine for us we'll only have few for now and this should return list of water intake so first list map dynamic from test data documents and then map each element we want to convert it to water intake dot from map e dot to list in order to understand the data structure again we can go back to app rights official documentation we have already seen that in some of the previous episodes so now we have get index function here we can get the index and once we get the index we should calculate today's index let's make it zero and we should calculate for each today's index equals or plus equals amount and if mounted set state okay and we can change this element to let's save this so we get our data back so we inserted one document if i even if i hot restart it should load the data from server and we should see the users water intake amount now one final thing if i tap add now it is already reflected here because we are also adding in the amount but the list of water intake is not refreshed so what we can do after we add this data if it is successful we can just call here get index so that the list is also updated So if I now hot restart, we have 300, we can add more and no matter how many times we restart, our data is saved and loaded. If we go back to our console, we have three different documents, 300, 200 and 100. So 600 ml water consumption that we can see it here. This is how simple it is to list data and add data now let us move on and let us implement the history page where we can display the list of data and allow users to delete let us go to history page here again we need to get a list of index so we can copy the code from home page that we just created this get index function copy let's paste it here we can import the api service and call this here get index and we can make loading false if get index is successful we can make false we don't need this today's index here in the history page now if i save if i go back and come to history page we should see our data and we already have a delete button here right we just need to implement the delete button in order to delete a document we just need its id and collection id so let's create a function to delete document first it doesn't return anything delete intake dot delete document and again collection id 
app constants dot in fridge collection and document id will be the id we send in the parameter so here we'll require a id parameter we don't want anything we can just simply return this and in our history page when we tap delete we can do await service dot instance dot delete in tech and we can pass in the id so here we can get the id from dot id okay and when this is done we again need to call in tech so that our list is updated if i save now and tap delete so let me delete this 200 it should be gone see we now have 100 and 300 if we go back this page is not yet refreshed we can simply refresh it to get the updated data so when we go to history page and delete some data and come back the this is not updated we can handle that simply right now as we are not using any state management we can simply do that so where we are calling the history page history page we can await this so we can await until we get popped back from this navigator and here we can again call get index so now if i add new so let me add few documents 100 so we are at 800 if i go here and let me delete this 300 so we should be at 500 this is deleted if i now come back see it is refreshed and we get the updated data we saw how we can create document we could list document and then we could also delete a document and getting document is very simple if you want to get a single document you can just pass in the id and call db dot get document with collection id and document id apart from this when we are listing documents we can filter the data right now if i enter data for multiple days that will all be reflected in this particular day because we are loading all the data from the collection we are not filtering it in the next episode we will see how we can implement filters in order to get the data for only the particular dates so that multiple dates data will not be displayed when we are looking at the particular date this is all for today's episode thank you see you again in the next episode